Shri Mangatra Sharma, the Principal Secretary, and Dr. Anurag Batra, Professor Anil Sahasrabude, and Mr. Navin Mittal, Dr. Sandeep, and dignitaries. It's indeed a great day for India. Our Honorable Prime Minister has always had the vision and has been pushing forward the agenda of Make in India. Make in India. And the only way for this to happen is our universities and our colleges becoming innovation centers. Of course, we always think a college, a university, is supposed to be a teaching center and a learning center. But now things have changed. It has to be an innovation center. And for this, the first thing that's important is faculty. Now, most of the faculties today in our institution, we have 74% PhDs, and we are striving hard to get to AICT's mandate of 100%, which is excellent. Thank you, Professor Anil, for giving us this direction. But then many of them have no touch with the industry. And so in our institution, we felt we should not only build buildings and put up infrastructure, we have to invest on the faculty members, invest on the lab staff. So today, we have made it a mandate as part of the API to send them to the industry for a month. And they work on industry projects. And that has really turned around the culture of the university. And so the students begin to innovate because the faculty members have the capacity to encourage them to innovate. And secondly, we found the curriculum. The curriculum, we often say in an engineering institution, the first year is common, maths, physics, chemistry, English. But we find the maths, physics, and chemistry teachers are totally separated from the reality of the engineering education. So they come in from the science background, from the maths background, and give them pure maths, pure physics, pure chemistry, which are not relevant to the course of study, electronics, not relevant to computers. And sometimes we have smithy, carpentry, and all, which are totally irrelevant. So the student gains arrears in the first year itself, because he is coming here with a vision to do media technology and so on, and they are burdened with this, uh, which are not relevant to them at that point of time. So once they get arrears, they get disinterested, and they spend all their time in clearing arrears, not in innovation. So we felt, thank God, we are a deemed to be university under the support, progressive support of AACT today. Right from the first year, they get into their core area of education. And physics is relevant to that course of study. Chemistry is relevant to that course of study. Maths is relevant to that course of study. And those faculty members, inter and those faculty members are put into those core areas of engineering. And so once they started to work with the core engineering, we saw greater productivity. And from the first year itself, innovation began. And this has really helped the students in our university. Of course, the fact is the universities give an orientation towards that area, but then the students end up in any area which they have expertise or they like. But basically today the reality is any institution which places the student survives. The admission is based only on placement. And so the students also are looking forward to innovate, and when they innovate, we see great placements. The industries come and place them, the core industries place them, and of course, we have to prepare them for national level jobs, civil service, and so on, so that they get the best of uh, what they want to do in the campus. Now, the next that uh, we saw was the courses itself. Today, 
thank God for AI City. There is so much productivity. Whenever we want to start a new course, a new syllabus, they receive it, and in one year's time, the whole system is done. And of course, the deemed universities, we have uh, to follow the AACT norms, that's good. Uh, but the number of seats in a course, once we get a permission, it takes one year to change the next year, and things are rapidly changing. So if the institutes of higher learning institutes such as deemed to be universities and universities are given the autonomy to introduce courses relevant to the society that would be a great advantage and give an autonomy for the numbers of students that they would like to operate on. It will be a great help. And the third thing is, we came up with a slogan, finding solutions to human problems. Have a course which finds solutions to human problems. How does an industry survive? Because it meets the needs of the people. Then when the people get that product, their needs are met, and the industry survives. So the university also should have courses, should have programs, should do research to find solutions to human problems. And of course, our honorable uh, principal secretary and also the honorable AACT chairman were mentioning how programs relating to water, in food, in healthcare, in uh, energy, and that's what we are focusing on. Everything is interdisciplinary today. We cannot focus on electrical engineering alone. They don't survive. So all the faculty have to work together. The students have to work together. And once we opened it that way, we found the focus was not on electrical engineering. The focus was finding uh, solutions for food, solutions for water, solutions for energy, solutions for healthcare, and science, arts, management, uh, engineering, technology, medical science, all started working together. And that became a successful model in the institution. We got people coming together, talking together within the institution, and that brought, a, brought better research from the institution. The citation was good, and the quality went up, the project started coming, and so on. Finally, the students benefited and it continues to be so. The final point I'd like to make is, we cannot just survive with higher education provided by the college and the university. Because when they come in, in the first year itself, it's so difficult uh, to you know, work on these students. First year, second year, we have to prepare them, but by the time they go out, it's too late. So I feel the school education and the collegiate education have to work together. As we rightly heard, comprehension is so important. Mr. Navin Mittal hit the right points. Comprehension is so important because unless they are able to comprehend, they cannot succeed. So in the first year, it's so difficult to bring in comprehension. And then they get into areas, they get discouraged and so on. So if the schools, we start with the schools, and we have comprehension, we'll teach them technology, and when they come into the collegiate level, it's just fantastic. We can grow them into innovation. So I think we should not have the school, sub institution, school management separately and the higher education separately. It has to be one unique policy. We start from pre-KG itself, and the colleges will then become innovation centers. And finally, what we need is unity. And in our university, it's totally residential. And we have students from 29 states. So they learn to live together, work together. And when they get into the industry, when they get into the market, there is unity, which brings productivity. May all our efforts be a blessing for the nation and our people. God bless you. Thank you. Jai Hind.